hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it's me ij your fashion teacher and here is ij designs i would like to say a very big thank you to all my subscribers both new and old subscribers you are, are welcome on board i'm very grateful to have you on this channel i'm happy and i appreciate all your comments all your passing by to see what i have for you guys i'm very grateful i say thank you to every one of you so today's tutorial we are going to learn how to draft and sew a trouser for a baby of one year or two years babies between six months to two years we are going to draft their trouser i'm going to draft it this on this paper and then transfer it to the fabric because the material I want to use is a white material, so I don't want to make the drafting on the material. So I decided to make it here to draft it on this paper and then transfer it on our fabric. So now let's get started. As you can see, there are some lines that I have already drawn on this paper i would like to tell you what the lines are all about let's assume that here is our starting point here is our starting point so from here i'll measure the length of the trouser that we are making this is babies so their trouser length is not all that much so the length of the trouser i'm making today is 15 inches and this 15 inches is here Remember, we need some allowances at the upper part of it to fold it because it's going to have elastic. So we need two inches on this upper part to fold it. And also on the down part of it, we also need two inches to fold the hem of the trouser. So all together is going to give us four inches. So we add it to the length of the trouser, which is 19 inches. So I marked my 19 here. That is the length you are seeing 19 inches here is the 19 inches so now from this point from the starting point i now marked five inches which is the hip line of this baby we are making the cloth for the hip line is five inches so from the waist this is the waist from the waist to here is the hip line five inches then we came down to another measurement, which is this, you are saying, this is 9 inches. This measurement is the flap. This is the flap. Babies that put on pampas, you need to make their flap to be a little bit long so that it can accommodate their pampas. So that is why we're making this flap, flap 9. So I'm going to use 9. So babies, you can use between 9 and 10, but I'm going to use 9 as my flap here. So this is the point you are seeing, the 9 inches. So then this is the length of the trouser. So now the vertical measurement is, has been taken care of. Let us go to the horizontal measurement. Now what is the, before, add, before starting the horizontal measurement, remember the human body is not straight. The human body curves at the, between the hip and the knee it has a little bit of curve so now let us now determine that curve in our measurement so on the hip line just come in by quarter inch just come in by quarter inch on the hip line come in by quarter inch then on the flap line come in by half inch this half inch bring it down to the length of the trouser So now let us connect it. So give it a bit curve from the waist here. Curve it a bit. Curve it a bit. Do you see? Curve it a bit. Then you turn it in this form to get to the flap. And this line, then you come down with a straight ruler to the length of the trouser. Do 
Do you see it? Showing that the human body is not straight. It curves a bit. So that is how it looks. Do you see it now? So from now, from this point that we have just connected, we are going to start inserting our horizontal measurement. So now the first thing we have to insert is the flap. On this flap, you are going to insert your laps. You insert your laps on your flap. So what is the laps we are making use of? The laps we are making use of is 14. 14 divided by 2 is going to give you 7. So you mark your 7 inches here. Remember, in making trousers, all the allowances come at the back panel. You don't add allowance at the front panel. You add allowance at the back panel. So on this flap now, I've marked my 7 inches, which is the laps. It's divided into 2. That is 7 inches. So from these 7 inches, come in 2 inches. That is 5. Take away 2 inches from the 7, you have 5. That is where your flap will come in. That is where you will connect. So now, you are going to get this in a straight line up to the waist. So what do you want to have to do? Assuming you fold your material, you can measure from where you stopped your folding. Then you get it. But for me, this is a paper that is being used to draft it. I'm going to start from the edge to get it to be a straight line. I'm not going to start from the half inch that we came in. No, I'm going to start from the edge of the material to here. So what I have is five and a half. So this five and a half, I'm going to bring it up to the waist. So I will take the five and a half and bring it up to the waist to make it to be a straight line. So this is my five and a half. So this five and a half, now I'll connect it to the flap line do you see it i now connected it to the flap line from this five and a half remember from here to here is five and a half from this point that we came in from the seven inches that we already marked from that point so the edge of our material is five and a half inches because remember we came in by five by half inch from the flap to cover it. So now ignore that five half inch that we came in. Measure to the end of your material so that you can get a straight line at the upper part of it. So now what do you have to call do after getting your straight line to the waist? You now curve your flap in a c form in a c form just take your cuff you can use your ordinary hand to do it but also you can use your armhole curve so just take your armhole curve and curve it in a c form do you see it now you have gotten your flap so this is the flap this is now the flap so now the next thing is to insert is our ankle you don't need the knee because the knee is going to be taken care of when you now cover it from the flap that is from the laps to the ankle your knee is going to come in the knee of the baby is going to come in so now let us get our ankle the ankle we are working with is 10 that is the round ankle measurement is 10 inches. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we insert our 5 inches here. After the half inch that we now took away because the human body is not straight. So now we mark our 5 inches here. So from this 5 inches, I'll connect to the flap line. Just use your hip cuff. Just hip your hip, use your hip curve. You see it? 
our trouser is ready. The baby trouser is ready. Do you see it? So now the next thing is to cut it out. And after cutting it out, I'll now use it to cut out the back panel. We have cut out the front panel. Can you see it? That's the front panel. Remember here, it's not straight. It's a little bit curved. So I will now use it to place on my paper to cut out the back panel. So now just take it, place it. Now I have placed it here. Do you see it? I have placed it here. So the first thing to do after placing it, the first thing to do is to just curve, just draw your line from the front part. Just draw your line, curve it in this form. Just curve it. Just draw your line here. That is the curve that you've already cut out from the first panel. Just draw it here. Then after drawing it, you take it back in order to insert your measurement correctly. So now I've drawn my line. Do you see my lines? That is the front panel. I've drawn it. So I've drawn it here. Also, I've drawn on this side. So the next thing to do is to pull it a bit back to insert your measurements. So now, from here, two and a half inches you are going to add to the knee that is to the ankle two and a half inches you mark your two and a half inches you bring it closer do you see it is two and a half inches so on the flap you are going to add two three quarter inches do you see it it corresponds then on the waist on the waist from the hip line to the waist you add three inches do you see it? You add your three inches. You take it back. That's the three inches. And also on the waist, you make sure it is also three inches. It's also three inches. Do you see it? So now the next thing is to cut it out. So what you have to do, is also to draw your back side that is the side you draw it you can also pin it down so that you get the actual measurements you can also pin it down can pin it down so now let's cut it out now guys I have cut out my panels do you see it that's the front panel of the baby trouser that we are making this is the front panel I have cut it out and also this is the back panel do you see the back panel remember all the allowances comes at the back so this is the back panel. So the next thing now is to put them together. So what do you have to do? Just take the back panel, wrong side facing each other, just in this form, the wrong side facing each other. Do you see it? I'll just take it and I'll so close it up with half an inch. I'll close it up the back side with half inch. And also the front sides. I 
and also the front side the wrong side facing each other i'll close it up with half an inch after closing it up then you now take closing it up from this place that is to this area you see it's half an inch i close it up also i do the same at the back after that i'll now fix both of them together after fixing both of them together i'll show it to you now guys i have fixed the back do you see it this is the back i'll fix it and i've now left the opening like i said to fix it with half inch do you see it which i have done with half inch and also the front this is the front also i've also fixed it with half inch so the next thing now to do is to get the two to fix it to each other so now the front and the back facing each other so now here you see it these two you take these two you see it you put it together then you so you open up the half inch that you tip in also at the back you open it up you open it up now i'm going to take another half inch to sew it to the end here do you see it to this end and also to the other end i'll sew it to this end also to the other end and also by the sides i'll close up the sides then when i close up the sides i'll show it to you guys now guys i fixed the back and the front together do you see it our baby's trouser is almost ready so the next thing to do now is to fold the waist now remember we left two inches to fold the waist in order to put our elastic and also to fold the down parts of the trouser so i'm going to do that take the two inches in to fold it and also fold the waist and insert the elastic then our trouser is ready and i'll show it to you guys now guys our trouser for a baby of one year is now ready do you see it so the next thing is to insert the elastic which i have already made a place to insert it do you see it after when sewing it just leave one inch open one inch open so that you can insert your elastic and the measurement of the elastic can be measured at 20 inches but i'm going to cut out some little inches because it's a baby of one year so now i put it with uh, the special pin if you have it or if you don't have it you can go with the ordinary pin that is this pin If you don't have the special pin you can go with this but i have the special pin so i now put insert my pin there so let us insert it in the trouser just from the opening that you left insert your elastic you go around you take it i'll do it until i come out to the other side of it now guys i'm out from the other side of it do you see it do you see it now you remove the pin now you remove the pin so the next thing to do you can sew it with your machine or you can decide to tie it just to tie it Do you see it and your trouser is ready so the next thing to do is just to put the elastic inside and close up here with your machine so our trouser is ready for a baby of one year do you see it do you see the trouser 
Do you see how beautiful it looks? You can try out one for your baby. Do you see it? So now, if this tutorial on how to make a baby trouser has been helpful to you, please don't forget to like, share, and comment on my videos and give me a giant thumbs up. And also, if you have not subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel. On this channel, everybody is welcome. We are going to be showing how to make both the men and the women clothes. Not the women alone, the men are also welcome on my channel. I'm going to show how to make senators in no distant time. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to do the senator that this baby is going to use to wear his trouser. I'm also going to share it with you guys, how to make a senator for a one-year-old baby. So see you in my next video. Bye for now.